Hi guys! I'm Bryn. And I'm Amina. And this is AG Life. Today we're going to get our science on. And we'll meet an all-girls robotics team called Girls of Steel. But first, let's check out five sciencey facts you need to know. Okay, according to popular science, space has a smell. And that smell is fuel, hot metal, and barbecue. They say it's because of dying stars, but how do we know there aren't aliens out there grilling some burgers? Number four. Every year, lots of squirrels forget where they buried their acorns. Therefore, thousands of trees get planted by accident. Great for the trees, but not so good for the poor squirrels. Sciencey fact number three. One lightning bolt has enough energy to cook 100,000 pieces of toast. BYO jelly. <laughs> we all know that water was recently found on Mars. But did you know that Neptune has 700 mile per hour winds? So if you ever visit Neptune, pack a comb. That was crazy! And our favorite science fact. MRI scans show that dolphin brains are super similar to human brains. Seriously, dolphins are crazy smart. Famous smart dude Carl Sagan said that while some dolphins have learned more than 50 words and phrases in English, no human being has been reported to have learned Dolphinese. I beg to differ, Carl. <laughs> that was Dolphin 4, and now it's time for a cool science experiment. Okay, definitely adding Have a Conversation with a Dolphin to my bucket list. During this time of year, my skin feels a little dehydrated, so I like to use this lemon sugar scrub to brighten up my face. The ingredients are lemon juice, coarse sugar, honey, and coconut oil. In a bowl, combine all liquids. Honey helps hydrate the skin and tastes good, duh. Lemon juice has vitamin C that helps even out the skin tone. Coconut oil is a natural antiseptic, which can kill bacteria stuck in your pores. Now add in your sugar and stir quickly so it doesn't harden. It makes a great gift too. You can tie a little ribbon around the jar to make it look cute. Or just use it yourself and have a personal spa day. So today we have not one awesome girl, but a whole group of awesome girls. And they rule. They compete in a robotics competition where most of their competition are boys. And trust me, these girls are there to dominate. But I'll let them tell you about that. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm 13 years old and I'm part of the Girls of Steel robotics team. I'm Sarah from the Girls of Steel robotics team. Hi, I'm Claudia. Hey, I'm Riley. Hi, I'm Claire. Hi, I'm Kate from Girls of Steel. Hi, I'm Claire. Hi, my name is Swathi. Uh, hi, I'm Caitlin. I wanted to be an empowered girl in STEM, so I joined Girls of Steel. Together, we built a functioning robot that can drive and move around, which we're really proud of because we built it from scratch. What motivates me is seeing other people do great things, and I want to do great things too. The creativity and getting to come here and see all my friends and build robots. That, that's really fun. Being an all-girls team, we have a lot of creative ideas and a lot of people with a lot of big ideas. I feel that STEM is a profession of the future, so it really matters. And I think more girls should be involved in STEM. One of the challenges of being an all-girls team in STEM is the general doubt that girls can't be good in STEM. Because there are a lot of uh, stereotypes about girls that say like, oh, like they're not good at math, they're not good at engineering. If we build a good robot, we're hoping to change the stereotype that girls can't build good robots or be good in STEM. Seriously, I can't get over how crazy awesome these girls are. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe so you never miss us. Seriously, you guys have been amazing so far. Keep it up. We love hearing from you guys. And tell us what you want to see on AG Life. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Welcome to AG Life. I'm Amina. Today we're going to check out some holiday DIY, tackle a winterific this or that, and we're going to the tree in Rockefeller Center. 